Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Garry Kasparov and Kingis that was played in 1977. The game was played in Riga. Where is Riga? Riga is the capital city of Latvia. At the time when this game was played, Latvia was part of Soviet Union. And this game is part of Soviet Union Junior Chess Championship under 20. Kasparov was only 14 years old. In this game he had white pieces and he started with d4. Black played knight to f6, knight to f3, b6, bishop to f4, bishop to b7, e3, c5, knight from b to d2, g6 and c3. Very modest opening. Kasparov said in his annotations that he only wanted to get to comfortable middle game and then he would work from there. Black played bishop to g7, h3, why h3? If knight to h5, then bishop goes to h2. Black castled, bishop to e2, knight to c6, Kasparov castled, d6, let's go back, d5 is also playable. d6 appears to be more flexible move. Not risking anything. Kasparov played a4, probing on queen side. a6, knight to c4, provoking pawn push. Black played b5, attacking knight. Knight to a3, pressure is on b5 pawn. b4, pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on b4, pawn takes pawn on c5, and the very natural move is pawn takes pawn. Instead, black played more ambitious looking move, knight from f to d5, attacking bishop on f4 and unleashing his bishop on g7, attacking pawn on b2. Kasparov ignored the threat on b2. He Captured pawn on d6. Now bishop takes on b2 and black's position looks very good, at least visually. Have a good look, looks good. Rook is under attack. Kasparov ignored the threat. He played bishop to h6. Attacking rook, rook to e8. And now you would expect Kasparov to play rook to b1. That would be like a very natural move, rook to b1, and after bishop takes on a3, rook to b3. But Kasparov played very deep move. It is not easy to understand this move at first. He played d7. Only later you will understand the meaning of this move. Rook is under attack, so what else? Queen takes. Now knight to c4, attacking bishop. Black captured on a1, Kasparov captured, and now can you see the threat? Threat is queen to g7 checkmate. What can black do? He could have played knight to f6, he played e5, but let's go back. If knight to f6, he perhaps saw that then knight to b6 is coming, attacking queen and rook. So instead he played e5 and Kasparov captured on e5 with knight attacking queen queen to e6 knight to g4 can you see what is the threat threat is queen to g7 check mate f6 bishop to c4 pinning knight Rook to f8, more protection to f6 pawn. And in this position, Kasparov made a move and Kengis resigned. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that Kasparov played. Are you ready? Would you play e4? That is the move. Black resigned.
Is it early? Well, let's check the most obvious variation. So knight is under attack. If queen takes pawn, then a knight takes on f6. This is check. Rook takes. And now queen takes rook. And knight is pinned, so black can't capture queen. So to prolong the game, black would have played funny looking queen to e7, but then after queen takes on e7, knight is still pinned, can't take queen. So there is checkmate on g7. That's why in this position, black resigned. So Kasparov was, was very good when he was 14, wasn't he? And some people think that he is the best player of all time. What do you think? Is he the best? And also, what have you learned in this game? Well, we have learned, if you want to beat someone in chess, don't pick on Gary Kasparov. Just kidding. And that is all. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.